During the time of Jesus, Jerusalem was ruled by the Roman Empire. The Romans had invaded Jerusalem, and they made life very difficult for many Jews. The Roman Emperor demanded that the people worship him instead of God. Roman tax collectors took the people's hard-earned money, and Roman soldiers bullied anyone who disagreed. Throughout Jerusalem, the Romans were viewed as an enemy. They were hated. One day, Jesus sat down on a hillside, surrounded by his disciples and a large crowd of people. Many of those listening had seen firsthand how cruel the Romans could be, and they listened eagerly to Jesus' teaching. What would Jesus say about people like the Romans? Would he say people should hate their enemies? Would he say they should get even with them? Much to their surprise, Jesus said that they should love their enemies. Jesus explained what this love looked like by giving some examples. First, he told the people, If someone slaps you on your right cheek, let them slap your left cheek as well. This would have been very difficult for the people to accept, but Jesus wanted everyone listening to understand something very important. Love doesn't take revenge. Love doesn't hurt others who have caused harm. Jesus gave the people a second example. If anyone brings you to court to take your shirt, let them have your coat as well. A person's outer coat was very important in Jesus' time. For example, the poor would use their coats as blankets to sleep in on cold nights. But Jesus wanted the crowd to understand that true love comes from a deep trust in God. Love will give away things of incredible value even to those who don't deserve them. Next, Jesus said, If a soldier demands that you carry his gear for a mile, carry it for two miles. According to their law, Roman soldiers could force people to carry their heavy gear for one mile. People hated having to do this, and they would never think of going an extra mile. But Jesus taught the crowd that love always serves others, even enemies, with a humble heart. Love always goes above and beyond, doing more than expected. Jesus was letting the crowd know that they should love others the way that God loves them. Jesus explained that God was like a good father in heaven. God shows his goodness and love to everyone, even those who don't deserve it. Jesus reminded the crowd that God gives his very best gifts, like warm sunshine and nourishing rain, to everyone, good and bad. Jesus challenged the crowd to love each other in the same way. Later, on a cross, Jesus would become the perfect example of God's love. There, people hurt and insulted him, but he didn't take revenge or get even. Instead, Jesus gave away the most valuable thing of all, his own life, as a payment for our sins. Our Savior went the extra mile so that we could be free from our sin and live with God in heaven forever. God loved us first, even when we were sinners. It's amazing. And this is how Jesus says we are to love others.